Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Patrick Dix coming again with another video. I want to talk to you about something very serious and something very dear to my heart. It is the year 2030. I want you to ask yourself, what are you doing to prepare for 2030? It is the year 2023 right now. That is seven years from now. And I just want you to think about where do you see yourself? What kind of job will you be working? Where will you be living at? What kind of income would you have? We are now living in a time to where they are automating everything. And technology is taking over several manual labor jobs, several repetitive jobs, um, administrative jobs, etc. The question I want you to ask yourself is, how do you fit into this? Will you even have a job seven years from now? You know, we're living in a time to where people want to look at entertainment. They want to goof off. Um, they want to look at things to take their mind off of the various serious issues. And we really don't have time for that anymore. Seven years from now is not that long. Um, just think about your life. I remember graduating high school 20 years ago, and I remember walking off of the football field um, in South Carolina. On May 31st, 2022, I was 18 years old. And I remember, wow, saying to myself, wow, that was 20 years ago. And I remember that night, like, I have my whole life ahead of me. Here it is now, 2023. And this year will be 21 years I've been out of high school and I look at what I've done. I look at all of the strides I made and I look at all of the um, obstacles I've overcame. But one of the biggest things I didn't realize back then or didn't have knowledge of was how jobs were gonna change. And as I went through my educational career, I discovered that technology and having a good skill set and a good mind would help separate me from everyone else. And it's paid dividends, I'll say that again, major dividends in my life. And one of the things I want everyone to think about is where do you see yourself? Are you going to be in a blue collar or a white collar field? We really don't have time to play games anymore. Time is of the essence. We have to move with a sense of urgency. By 2030, millions of jobs will be automated or eliminated, period. So you have to remember, what kind of job will you have? Where will you be living? What will you be doing? Will you be on UBI as they lead us falsely with this universal based income? Because that's not going to happen. Just think about it. There is no way they're going to tax robots to provide income from people that lost their job. So you still have time to prepare for this. I just want people to think about it is the year 2030, seven years from now, what kind of life will you have? Think about the preparation it's going to take to get there. Think about your current skill set. Think about your futuristic skill set. Vision is very powerful, and you have to remember these types of things and the break that we're having now with so much going on in the world don't come often. Once the world gets back um, full speed and gets off of its spectrum, as we would say, gets back on its axis, things are going to pick up so fast to where if you don't have the correct skill set, you will not have a job. I don't know what else to really tell people to do. You have to prepare. It is very serious. Things are going to get more stringent. Time is of the essence. I reiterate that. You must have the proper skill set, blue collar or white collar skill set. You can't look at entertainment. You can't look at sports to take your mind off of everything because what's going to happen? You're going to have eight, nine thousand dollars a month worth of bills. What are you going to do to survive? How are you going to pay that amount of money, especially if you have a family? You know, it's tough enough. Uh, supporting yourself but imagine if you have two to three other mouths depending on you what are you really going to do to bring in that kind of money you have to have a skill set i just want you to think about that and remember you're going to have to prepare we're in the fourth industrial revolution you will not get around of the technological advancements we have today one of the things is i just um received an article for someone is about a artificial intelligence lawyer so that is a white collar field we thought was going to be barred from being infiltrated by technology. It's everywhere now. They had um, race cars the other day on the Indy circuit that were autonomous racing around the racetrack. This stuff is in every facet of life. I've talked about self-service uh, checkout aisles. I've talked about uh, autonomous cars, the robotics in the facilities. I hope everybody is waking up seeing what it really is going on because there is no other way to get around this you're going to have to plan you're going to have to plan you're going to have to plan and then you're going to have to drop another plan 
once you get that plan down, then you're going to have to execute and have another plan. What if the occupation or the job that you have is going to be automated? I just really want you to think about that and see what you're going to do. Again, reach out to me. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn at Dr. Patrick Dix. You can find me on Instagram at King of Automation. And you can also visit my website, the Dix Consulting Group. I'm here to do consultations to help people and businesses overcome this kind of technological advancements that we're going to hear.